Hi everyone, my name is Diogo Martins. I work on uh, inclusive urbanism and I'm a specialist on uh, public transport accessibility. So, for this session, I'm going through some uh, aspects about uh, customer needs and inclusivity. Uh, we are going to talk about these topics briefly, uh, so be ready to, uh, to search about them uh, uh, deeply after uh, this, this session and uh, I will talk about the, some factors of uh, exclusion and some what is in inclusion, uh, what is co-creation and how to create knowledge from co-creation processes. So uh, to start we are going to talk about factors for uh, exclusion and as I said briefly we are going to talk about some of the aspects that make us exclude other people based on uh, personal views and uh, some prejudice, uh, um, uh, also biased behavior and some other aspects that, that we all have. Uh, one of the things is actually about uh, since we are kids, we, we learn and, and people talk to us about how to, to actually exclude others based on some uh, uh, visual aspects or things that uh, are related to religion or related to societies, etc. So we, we all learn all these things since we are kids and uh, based on that we create our own uh, ideas about what is a, the what is a like a standardized person or or what is the, the correct view of uh, of what is a person and these are not actually so much uh, correct like that so we have to understand that we are uh, actually biased when uh, when we are thinking about this so some of the things that we exclude uh, also, or, or, or in other terms, some of the things that we use to exclude people, uh, they are based uh, on the idea of uh, this, uh, for example, the skin color being being different. Uh, it's based on the age of each person, uh, based on the physical capabilities. Uh, and many other capabilities that we actually think they don't fit in the society or something like that. Uh, and even the spoken uh, language of each person can, can uh, be a, a, factor, a factor to, uh, to exclude uh, people. Uh, but there are many more and uh, you have to be ready to understand the, the, the other factors. In, in your country and uh, your specific uh, uh, situation, uh, which which ones are the, the main problems and uh, which one you have to uh, to consider before you start work, uh, working on this. Uh, but you have to be aware of one thing that all of us create this idea of what is the standard user for our. Uh, transport networks or cities and many more things and uh, usually is a male uh, between 25 and uh, 45 years old uh, is white is, is physically capable uh, usually uh, with higher education and cognitive capabilities and you have to be ready to challenge this idea so uh, how do you actually do that and it is where it starts to get a bit difficult to, for to start but uh, we we have actually some uh, some good ideas about what uh, what to do and and uh, how we can overcome these things so to start you have to start of uh, considering a more diverse user group than you consider right now so it's not that uh, profile that i told you before uh, you have to to understand that people are very different and they have uh, 
many different characteristics and needs, so you have to be aware of that. Uh, you have to consider these needs as technical requirements, so you don't have to, uh, to think about this as uh, an ad hoc uh, pr procedment or uh, fixes or something like that. You have to consider these needs as something that really makes sense for your system and your city and your transport network. So you have to consider these as technical requirements. Okay, so you have to also think about uh, the, the, the continuous improvements because this, this will be a, a work that will be constantly changing because of very other factors, technological and, and societal, uh, based on society factors and many others that you have to think about and you have to change to make it work. Uh, so, how do you do that? You have to do some uh, things, but this is more based on your own profile, so think about this to your own. But one of the things is about to exercise your mind, so you challenge your own prejudices about other people and about their behavior and many other factors that may uh, constrain your thinking about the, the process. Uh, you have to keep in mind that you have this with you, so it's a start, it's a way to, uh, to start thinking about how to challenge them, is about to be aware of these things. And you have, of course, to engage uh, since the early start of your projects uh, with many different users and many different people that will actually be impacted by your solutions. Uh, so now we are going to talk about co-creation and what it is. So co-creation is basically a process that uh, involves people since the, the early stage of the uh, of the, the your project and it uh, allows you to design your solutions with these people so you are uh, you have to be uh, at the same level you have to to consider these people uh, experts on their own needs okay so you have to be aware that they are not uh, inferior to you or they are not uh, strange uh, or something like that. You have to, uh, to analyze technically, but they are providing uh, you precise information uh, with their own knowledge. Okay, so you have to consider this, that part uh, of the process. You have to think about having a more diverse and a broader group. So usually uh, the user groups are uh, are basically very uh, constrained to that profile that I told you before. Sometimes they they include you women and uh, that's good. But you have to consider to include people of color, people with disabilities, and uh, many others that will actually change uh, the idea of what is uh, the user profile of of your network and. Uh, and uh, your uh, solutions. Uh, you should also consider those who don't currently use your services or your networks or, or who are uh, excluded from your streets. So think about that uh, idea because they will, uh, they, they will uh, impact and challenge your, uh, your own ideas. Okay, so... Uh, it's important also to work with local communities because they know the places where they live okay? and they know what they want to have there. Okay, so this is uh, really important and take time to 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 actually think about uh, the process and to think about the solution and get back to to everyone to talk about this. Okay, uh, but this can be wasted. So you have to be aware that you are collecting information. You have to compile this information uh, from the co-creation processes. You have to create training based on, on the, the user needs and their feedback. And you have to keep track 
of how effective the, uh, are these changes and uh, the ideas behind uh, these processes. Okay. So, and you also have to work with your colleagues to explain them what uh, people told you and what people actually want to have. This is very important to make pe to make sure that people are on the same page uh, and and they understand exactly what what is being done. So, to finish, uh, you have to consider two more things. Uh, you you have to consider needs that will change over time. So you have to think about that uh, and go back to user groups and understand that they will tell you different things according to different factors. You also have to understand that needs will change accordingly to the place and society and uh, many other demographic uh, factors. So you have to think about this and you have to consider them uh, as, as uh, technical requirements for the process. Okay, so briefly, this, is, this concludes this session and thank you so much for being there.